Hello, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. In this video, I'm going to show you the Klein IR10 infrared uh, uh, thermometer uh, for taking the surface temperature of uh, devices, which in my case is going to be enti almost entirely electronics, but it can be for anything, electrical, um, a hot switch or a, 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 a bad switch, something that is overheating. You can take the temperature reading at a very safe distance away from it so that you know you keep yourself safe from harm. Um, let's go right into it and and then uh, show you how this works. Now here is the Klein IR10. It's an infrared thermometer, and uh, it's an item that I uh, have wanted to have in my uh, toolkit ever since I learned about it, which was fairly recent. Uh, but there are those times when I do need to measure the surface temperature of electronic devices. I have been in... Uh, uh, it's more layman's terms, a computer room, but be the, the main distribution facility or MDF, uh, working on systems that were having difficulty and it was hot where they are supposed to be temperature controlled and to be uh, cold, actually. And, and it would have been very helpful for me to have this device then so that rather than say it's hot and, it, and the... Uh, and the Nortel PBX system is hot to the touch, which is all very subjective. It would have been nice to simply do this. And here's a, a pocket PC that's currently uh, playing. Well, it's, uh, and you'll see it on the screen there. It's still in uh, Fortnite. And, uh, and for the surface temperature, I can fire two beams. You see those two beams there. Hold on. Uh, try to get the uh, camera so you can see a little better there. Fire those two beams. That's how it works. And then that is the max temperature reading. I can get an average or a differential, but it shows that 110.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And in this particular case, uh, bottom side is runs a lot hotter but rather than you know a lousy adverb as uh, adjective as a lot hotter I can see that wow it's 117 degrees um, during gameplay it was uh, 123 degrees at, at the very bottom and um, this has a uh, this particular pocket PC has a fan cooling fan and these are the vents for that fan um, well the uh, IR10 does come with a, a a thermometer and for that one uh, it's keyed so it can only go in one way and uh, I plug it in and, uh, and then I could take the, the tip you see and rather than, it's not using laser now, it's using that thermometer. But I could place that inside here. Turn that on. And let me go and get my reading now. And give it several seconds to Make sure it gets uh, stable on what it's reading. It's about there now. And you can see it's, uh, well, it's not holding it there. So let me keep the, uh, keep the probe in there. And you can see it's uh, 123, 123 degrees Fahrenheit. Just averaging that. Okay. Uh, it's simple. It uses a nine volt battery. I have uh, that you 
I'm not sure if you can quite see it in there, but there is a screw. I'm gonna grab a lamp here. I'm trying to position this so you can see that. There you go. There's a screw in there. And that screw is a, uh, it's a Phillips. And you, uh, one single screw, you lift up this, this top and you can get to that nine volt battery. And when that one is done, I have a rechargeable that I'll be using for it. Okay, simple enough, but you got to see it demonstrated uh, live on a running system. Uh, it's This will be nice on my YouTube channel as well when I'm doing comparisons between systems to also show how well it handles temperature. Now that I can take uh, uh, fairly accurate readings with, these, uh, with this laser scanner, laser temperature scanner. And the unit does come with a, uh, a protective nylon protective bag, and it's in that that I place the uh, scanner, and they have a, a very thin mill, maybe two mil bag, plastic bag, but um, at least that will keep the uh, keep the thermometer there protected and. Uh, of course, you can clip it to your belt if this is something you're going to use on a job uh, and you just need it handy. In my case, it simply goes in my tool bag. Now, despite the fact that I'm using this almost entirely for electronics, it doesn't mean it's that's all it can do. You see the thermometer that comes with it. It can uh, measure the temperature of liquids. Heck, you can check the temperature of meat that you're frying just to make sure that it's at the right level. It, the accuracy of this device is uh, plus or minus 1.5%. Uh, fairly accurate for most purposes people will have. Also, uh, you can actually get the temperature reading on gases, which could be helpful in certain professions. Not mine. Thankfully, I don't have to deal with that. Uh, in, in my line of work. Uh, but you see it's very functional, it's high quality, it has a drop rating of almost 10 feet, um, so it's sturdy. There really aren't any negatives on this from what I've seen uh, doing some research on other reviews. Hope you enjoy this. Please give me a like and subscribe. And you know always, I'll subscribe to your channel and watch your content and leave likes so that as you're building up my channel, I'm also building up yours. And uh, as good neighbors, until next time, bye-bye.